Hey guys, Trash here, and welcome to 100 Days in the Bamboo Jungle. The whole world is just a bamboo jungle, and we're going to try and survive for 100 days and fight the dragon. So let's get right into it and start punching a tree. Let's get our first crafting table made and get a wooden pick. Now, I like to just go for stone right away, and it does seem like there's a ton of stone over here, but that seems very dangerous. Oh, goodness. Oh, there is a geode down there. Okay, this looks like something we should definitely explore. There's some iron over there already, but this looks very dangerous for hardcore. Maybe we should find stone somewhere else. If we skirt around the top here, I think we can get some from this bit over here. Everything is fine. Okay, we've got enough for an axe and a pickaxe, so let's go get those made real quick, and then we can focus on getting more stone later from hopefully somewhere safer. Okay, stone pick acquired and stone axe acquired. Now let's get a little bit more wood real quick. Well, it looks like there's bamboo jungle as far as the eye can see. I would like to find somewhere cool to set up my base, but I'm not sure how easy that's going to be if everything looks exactly the same. Well, we've got plenty of wood now, so let's just explore a little bit and see what we can find. Oh, and we should grab these melons so that we have some food right off the bat. That is one convenient thing about bamboo jungles. Alright, now that looks pretty cool. And that already looks dangerous. So I got some bamboo, and I know you can make a bamboo raft, but how do we do that? Let's make a block? Well, that's not going to be enough. Is it planks? Aha! A bamboo raft. Okay, and then, oh my god, the sun is already setting. How did the day go by that fast? Well, we have two options. We either lock ourselves into a hole, or we brave it, and we go down on the boat. I don't know if I'm ready to be brave. I think we're gonna dig ourselves in here, and then we can at least get some more cobblestone while the night passes. Since we haven't found any coal yet at all, let's make a furnace, and then start making some charcoal out of this wood so we can actually light it up in here and see what we're doing. Okay, that's better than nothing. Now, I know we're way too high up to really get anything useful, but hopefully we can at least find some coal on our way down. Oh, okay, that plan worked out pretty good. Uh-oh. Nope, no, 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 no. Not prepared for that. Let's get a sword made and probably another stone pit. I was just expanding my room here and there's iron. I did not expect that. Well, we got five iron from that. And we've already survived the first night. We made it through, guys. And we have some iron smelting up right now. I think I'm going to use at least one of the ingots to make a shield. And then I might use the other four to make boots. I know an iron pickaxe is important, but I think armor and protection are more important right now. We have acquired hardware. Okay, let's get this set down, and then let's make a pair of boots and a shield. Let's get that put on right away. And we are at least moderately more protected now. Oh, I should probably make another axe before this one breaks while I'm here. Now let's try and get out of here without dying and try and make our way down to these rivers. Oh, there's some more melons. Let's grab those while we're here. I don't see anyone that could attack us. Although a creeper would honestly blend right in with everything that looks green here. But at least we'll be stocked up on food. Even if it's not the best food in the world, it's better than nothing. Let's throw our raft in and let's take our maiden voyage. Oh, and there's some sugarcane. Let's grab that real quick while we're here. Sugarcane's not very common on these type of seeds, I don't think. So let's grab it because it's there. Now, I don't- ooh, a parrot. Okay, I don't want to go that far away from that giant cave because I'm hoping there's a mineshaft in it and there's a geode in it, which is pretty cool, so I'm going to try and stay moderately in this area. Also, as far as animal spawning, I'm not seeing a whole lot. <gasps> ooh, another portal. Okay, let's go see if there's anything good here. I almost completely missed this because it's like covered in leaves. And there is a chest. Let's make sure that no one's going to come out of here and try and get us. It looks safe. Okay, let's see what we've got. Not a whole lot. An efficiency to golden hoe. Well, we'll take it. And curse of vanishing, that doesn't really affect me, so better than nothing. This is like a fairly complete portal too, so we should probably remember where this is because it would probably be a lot easier to just finish this one than to try and make a whole new one. And if our base is pretty close to here, that won't be hard at all. Is that a sheep? Oh my god. Oh my god, sheep, get in, get in my boat. Get in my boat, sheep. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Aha! And that's a panda! There's a panda and some piggies over there. Okay, I was kind of panicking about the mobs, but we've already got a sheep. That's the most important thing for wool so we can make a bed. And a pumpkin. Oh my god, there's a pumpkin. Okay, we have to go get that too. Aha! Okay, piggies, I will be back for you at some point, but don't hold your breath. You, though. I really want to come back for you. 
Hi. Hello. Oh my god, you're so cute. I want one of the ones that are like goofy or like the sniffly ones that are sick. I think they're so cute. Okay, Mr. Sheep, my pride and joy. Let's go see what we can find. Honestly, I should probably be killing these pigs. It seems like there's going to be a lot of them spawning, and I could use the food. I'm sorry, piggies. Well, I feel like a monster, but we've got nine pork chops. And there's some chickens. I have to come back for them, too. And another panda. Okay, I need to stop getting distracted. Oh my god, another sheep. Okay, you stay there. I will be back for you. Okay, Mr. Sheep, you stay right there. I'll be right back. I'm going to go overland this way and see if there's anything to see. Please do not escape. Hello, sheeps. I'm so sorry. Are there any cocoa beans? Okay, I think it's time to hide. If I could find a cocoa bean, I could dye the other wool and make a bed, but I don't think I can see any from here, so we're just gonna dig down. Okay, we're safe in a hole. Let's dig down again and see if we can find any iron so that we can actually shear the sheeps and not kill them. Nice. Well, it looks like it was only two, but that's enough to make shears. Okay, this looks dangerous, but we might be able to handle it. We have a shield and there's some iron. Okay, let's be smart about this. Okay, I think we're safe. Okay, we got 17 more iron, so I think we can get the rest of our armor at least, and maybe even some tools, and definitely some shears so we can shear the sheep and make a bed. And I didn't even get attacked by any mobs. Oh, I should probably grab this coal too before I leave. Okay, it looks like the sun is coming up, but I'm not ready to go back out there yet. Let's get our first iron pick made. Got some iron pants. And we are one iron ingot short from making a chest plate. So we got to find one more because a chest plate's pretty dang important. But I think it's safe to go outside now. So let's go see what we can find. Let's go find our sheep again. And hopefully let's find a place to live. Okay, I think this is the giant cave. And I do see a piece of iron there. And I want it. That's a very deep hole. Terrifying. Oh god. We pretty much almost died. Oh, iron. Okay, iron achieved. Let's get the heck out of this place because I don't want to die here. It seems very dangerous. I'm known to make not the brightest decisions in hardcore, so I'm trying to be a little bit smarter this time. Let's go back and find our sheep friend. My sheep! I'm coming back, Mr. Sheep. Hello! Okay, we're off to find a place to live. Can we show you on a boat? Haha! -ha. And we've got three wool. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this, we can do this. We got a bed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I feel a heck of a lot safer now. Now, if we could just break out this tree and we could keep sailing this way and see what we can find. Okay, I have found this little island right here and I think it's pretty adorable. Plus, there's already a sheep on it for our other sheep friend. It'll give us some degree of defensibility from everything. Everything is connected by rivers so I can go back to that giant cave if I want and towards the nether portal too. I think this is going to be my home. We're home, sheep, and then you can eat the grass so you won't be naked anymore. Yep, I'm claiming this is mine. Let's get everything set down and then start clearing it off. Alright, the island is relatively clear. I punched a bunch of grass. I got 34 seeds so we can start our wheat farm and start breeding up our sheepies. And I also planted down the sugar cane over here so we can start getting that going. The only thing is I'm not sure if cows spawn in the bamboo jungle biome and I'm a little concerned about that because that means we're gonna have to go to the nether and hunt hoglins again. And for once I would just like a hundred days to have cows. I hate hunting hoglins. But if we have to, that's fine, and this time I'm going to bring some gold and trade with the piglins so that we don't have to just, you know, kill hoglin after hoglin after hoglin after hoglin again. So let's get our little starter farm set up. I think over here would be a great area for it. And I can handle the podzol and a little bit that sand over there, but I cannot handle having this gravel here, so I'm going to replace it with dirt. I know it's stupid, but I, I just don't like it. 
much better. I definitely got, you know, like a couple bamboo from clearing off the island, but I plan on building with the new bamboo blocks, which means I need to plant some more back down so we don't run out. I know it's literally all around me and I could get it from wherever, but I don't really want to go out and destroy the landscape around me, so I think I'm just going to put a little farm right on the corner of our island while we're figuring things out. And you know I hate torch spam, but we need to light this place up just in case. We'll replace it later with better looking lights, but for now, we need safety. I also smelted up the rest of my iron, so we have eight here, and then we have five more here, which means 13, so we can finally make ourselves a chest plate. And now we have mostly iron armor. I could use this five to make myself a helmet, but we've got this gold one for now, and I think that's good enough for the moment until we find more iron. I want to save this in case we need another pickaxe or an axe. Also, I see that panda over there. I'm going to get him. Not quite yet, but he's coming over here. Make a campfire and start cooking up some of this meat that we have. Let's throw it right there. Let's also grab all of our bamboo really quick and then turn it into a bamboo box just to see how much we have so far. A couple stacks, better than I thought. Okay guys, now that we've gotten our area cleared out a little bit and probably ready to build a house on it fairly soon, I think we should go and explore a little bit more. I want to go find a big cave that we can get down into, hopefully one that has a mine shaft in it to get some string so we can make a fishing pole. I know I could just kill a spider too, but um, I'm still scared of the mobs. And then there might be other fun things to find down in a mine shaft, like glow berries, which I can decorate with, which are my favorite. So let's go see what we can find. I also want to get some diamonds. And we should probably bring this with us. I think we're going to head out this way. I haven't gone this way yet. Oh, it looks like we have another nether portal over here. Cross your fingers, guys. Wow, that's not great. I mean, we got some obsidian, but not great. And now it's raining. Oh my god, cows. Oh my god, I I honestly did not think that cows would- sp I didn't think they would spawn. Okay, how do I get them back? I don't have any wheat. Okay, calm down. You can do this. You can figure this out. You're not that far from home. There's so many of them. Okay, I'm gonna take the coordinates. I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna get some wheat and I'm gonna bring them back to my island. You guys, this is such a relief. I thought I was gonna have to kill hoglins again. Okay, we've made it back home. None of my wheat has grown yet, but I think I'm going to make a composter real quick. And then I think you can compost bamboo. I'm not entirely certain, but we're about to find out. And then if you can, then I will bone meal the wheat and we will go get those cows. Okay, that doesn't work. And that one grew red as I was doing that. Well, that's one down. Okay, now we have three just for some extras. Just in case I accidentally feed one to a cow. Okay, let's go get these guys. I'm seriously so glad. I just, I, I really did not think cows were going to spawn. I'd given up on the cows. Hello, my sweet beans. I came back. And I have your favorite food. Excuse me, sir. We're leaving. Come on. I don't know how many I'm going to lose during the journey, so we got to get as many of you as possible. I mean, no. You guys will all be totally chill and safe the whole time. I, I don't know why I would say that. Go on. You are very cute, but I can't be distracted from the cows. It's like herding turtles. Okay, you know what? Fine. You guys stay there. I will make another boat. Come on, one of you. Get in the boat. Okay. Okay, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. No, no, we're not dancing. Now is not dancing time. No, it's boat time. Okay, that took entirely too many days. It's now day 10 already, and the sun's setting on that day, so it's about to be day 11. But we have cows, so I think it was worth it. I think before we start doing our starter house and working on getting diamonds, we need to make a little pen for these guys real quick and start breeding them up. We got, you know, just a couple bamboo from blazing the trail through the jungle to get the cows home, so we can add to our bamboo wood stacks that we are slowly building up. We're already at almost four stacks, which is pretty good. Now I know I want the starter house to be up on this piece of land, so I'm thinking this is our farming section. Let's put the cow pen maybe over here somewhere. Hey guys, come on, I made you a new home where nothing bad will ever happen to you. It's supposed to just be for cows, but I really don't know. I feel like you guys are going to be in here too, so that's okay. And we have our first little baby cow. Welcome to your new home. Nothing bad will happen until it does. I trimmed all the vines. I'm not sure if cows can climb vines. I don't really want to find out, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. 
and more of our wheat is growing. We've got our sugar cane spreading out, so that's great. Soon we'll have plenty of that. Now I do want to go explore again and I want to go to that cave with the giant amethyst geode in it and I'm pretty geared up. I've got iron and a gold helmet which isn't great but I'm, I'm doing okay. I've got a shield, I've got a pickaxe, i got a sword and I do need a lot more iron so I need to go caving and I want to find diamonds. The only thing I'm lacking is food. Melons just aren't going to cut it. So I can either go out and forage for some food and try and find some or I can wait for some of my crops to grow a little bit more and breed up the cows and then start, you know, dispatching them but I'm not sure it's either that or I could build a starter house so we might just do a starter house okay guys no nope, we're not gonna procrastinate anymore we're gonna be brave we're gonna see what's out there we're gonna go get some resources and then we'll come back and build our starter house I'm not scared you are okay I might be a little scared okay we're here at the cave I already see a bad guy Okay, everything is fine. I was just sleeping and I got attacked by a zombie, but everything is fine. There's too many mobs. There's a ton of iron down there. We're just gonna try and sneak down this way away from all of the mobs that are trying to kill us and get into the geode that way. What could go wrong? Y'all, I can't see anything. Okay guys, we made it into the amethyst and we're okay. Thank God I had my shield. Okay, let's get out of here. I have like a stack of iron. I got some calcite. I got some amethyst blocks. I think it's time to go home. I definitely want to explore deeper in there, but there's just too many mobs down there right now. And I also ran out of torches and didn't bring enough wood. So we're going to head back. Okay, we've escaped. We're out. We're heading back home. There's an ocelot. Do ocelots kill sheep? They better not have. Girl, you're adorable, but stay away from my sheeps, okay? Finally make our iron helmet and then replace it and now we are full iron. Okay guys, the house is almost done now and we are on day 25 already, so we're already a quarter of the way through the 100 days. I still need to do a little more decorating and putting some leaves around, but I think it's super cute and I really like how it's turning out. I've never built with the bamboo wood before, but I really like it a lot and I think it matches with the jungle super nice. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go put some more finishing touches on and then I think we're going to go find some diamonds. I've also been breeding up the cows and sheep and harvesting the sugar cane while I've been working on the house, so we're starting to build up quite a good amount of all those things, and we should be able to set up our enchanting setup soon. I just need to get some diamonds for a diamond pick so I can get some more obsidian so I can make an enchantment table. Alright, so my house is done on the outside, but the inside is still a bit of a disaster, and my chests are even worse. So I'm going to take a minute and organize those up, and then we're going to build a little farm over here for the pumpkins and melons. Okay, that is much, much better. Okay guys, I built a farm and we cannot procrastinate any longer. We've got to go diamond mining. It's already day 29 which means we need to get our butts into gear. And I have exactly zero diamonds right now, so I think we're gonna head back to that giant cave that I was too scared of last time. We have a ton more torches now, we've still got melons and we've got some other food as well, and I think we're ready to take it on. Let's hop in our trusty raft and head out on the river. Also, I really like how the house turned out. I think it's so cute. I need to kill some spiders though and get string so I can cap off these bamboos so they don't grow insanely tall. That was not really my intention. It looks a little wonky.
It's a miracle. Oh god, okay. Run away, run away. You guys, we found a spawner. We just have to kill these guys. I'm like way down in these like spaghetti noodle. Oh, creeper, I don't need to deal with you right now. Oh god, okay, okay, okay. No, no, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. See, everything is fine. Okay, I think we're safe. Let's go see what there is. Some gold, lots of gunpowder, beetroot seeds. Those are great for decoration. That's the only thing they're good for. And two cats. <gasps> Golden apple. Definitely taking that. And a ton of buckets. I don't think we need this many buckets. And some string. That's good. We can cap off our bamboo. Take a screenshot of the cords real quick. Because this would be an excellent XP farm. It's pretty close to our house and we could definitely turn it into a farm fairly easily. It's zombies, so it shouldn't be bad at all. Oh, well that looks like an iron ore vein. Well that's definitely an iron ore vein. Well we don't have to worry about iron. Wait, is this another geode? That's another geode! Oh god. A diamond? Diamonds! I'm pretty sure there's only one though, which is lame. Wait, there's two. There's also two creepers over there and I have to keep my eye on them. No children, no children, no children. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. We killed the child, the child is dead. Everything is okay. Another child. Oh, 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 they're fighting each other. Oh no, the child won, the child won. Go, child. Oh my god, okay. Nope, this is not fun anymore. This is not fun anymore. This is not fun anymore. Eat, 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 eat. Oh my god. You guys, that child was deceptively strong. That child was strong. He had a strong bloodline. Okay, everything is okay. Everything's fine. Jesus Christ, my heart is going so fast. I just wanted to find diamonds. All that for nothing. Diamonds. Okay, we gotta secure the perimeter. Secure the perimeter. Secure the perimeter. Perimeter does seem pretty secure. As long as there's no zombie children trying to kill me with their iron swords. That was like very not ideal. Wait, that's more diamonds. You stay there. Okay, we have seven diamonds so far. We need three for a pick and we're gonna need two for an enchanting table, which means we have two extra, but I also really, really, really want diamond armor before we go into the nether. But I am running pretty low on food. So we might have to call it in a second. Okay, well, that was my last torch and my shield's also about to die as is my pickaxe, even though I can make another one because I have a ton of iron, but actually I can't because I have no sticks. So, um, wish me luck getting to the surface. And surface, and it's daytime, thank God. So let's skedaddle our little butt all the way up there and then sail our way home. Our boat, honestly, I'd almost given up on ever coming back to the surface. Home sweet home, look how cute it looks. Also, ignore the fact that I forgot to strip these. You didn't see anything. And I forgot to put one there. Once again, you did not see anything. All right, we made it back alive, thank goodness. And we did pretty good. We got a ton of resources. We got so much iron, which is great. And there's still way more down there so I can go back and get more. I probably should have brought more than two pickaxes, but I didn't know how it was gonna go. I also picked up this sword from the zombie child I killed. I have no remorse. I got seven diamonds, so that's not half bad. A ton of lapis and some beetroot seeds, which everybody knows how much I love beetroot seeds. Am I excited to put them on my roof? Yes, I am. So let's not waste any more time. Let's make our diamond pick. And she's beautiful. We also still have enough for the enchanting table and we do already have five obsidian, so that's nice. Unfortunately, one of the cows is facing their imminent death that they are not aware of quite yet. Okay, maybe more than one of them. One book and boom, enchanting table. We are going to put it over in this corner here and probably build a tower around it. I can't help but build towers around my enchanting tables, but I might do something like this and have it raised up off the ground. I'm not entirely sure yet. Sir, how did you escape? No. Before we do all that though, let's just plop her down right here. And then speaking of cows, before we do the thinning of the herd, we do need to breed them up just a couple more times. So let's harvest the under the house wheat field. Let's get some cow babies made. 
Although, there will be some loss of life as far as the cows are concerned. At least we won't be eating melon slices anymore and we can move on to a little bit of a heartier meal of beef. Oh, we have 45 leather and almost a stack and a half of raw beef now. And I accidentally killed a sheep. We don't talk about that. And because we have this much raw beef, it's time to make a smoker. Now let's grab a bunch of our sugar cane, turn that all into paper, turn that all into books, and turn that into 15 bookshelves. And level 30 with efficiency 4. I wish it was fortune, but that's okay. We're only four levels away from level 30. I think we'll probably head back down to the caves in just a second after I get all stocked up again. And of course, we need to make a build around this enchantment table. But for now, we're just gonna sit by the campfire, relax, and cook up some of the meat. Oh my god, I have tree cows. I have tree cows now, guys. Everyone say hello to tree cows. I don't know if that one's gonna make it. He seems a little bit on the precipice there. But these guys might just be stuck up there forever. I really want to use my string to stop the bamboo from growing on top of my roof, but I think it would probably be smarter to use it to make a bow. And then also probably a fishing rod. Now I only have two left for my bamboo. I mean, I guess I gotta kill more spiders. I never claimed that my priorities were in the right place. See what the bow has for enchants, and let's hope it's infinity. No, it's power four. I mean, infinity could still be on there, and power four is not bad at all. We'll keep that in mind. Now, let's fish. You guys, actually, we can fish our way up to 30 levels. We don't need to go back down to those dangerous caves and risk our life. We don't have to do that. We can just fish. That sounds much more relaxing. Be careful, tree cows. Why, why do I only see one of you? Okay, I'm gonna assume you're both still up there. Originally, I wanted to fish off my balconies here. That's why I made these giant things, but it's too shallow right here. I'm not gonna get anything good from it. It's kind of deep over here, but it's hard to reach, and I'm not sure if I'm really hitting it. So I think we should build a nice little dock right over here and get into that real deep spot. And boom, there's a little dock. I can't decide if it's cute or ugly, but we can fish off of it. We have a name tag, guys. That means that we can abduct one of the pandas from around here. I want one of the sniffly ones. We're gonna have to go find one of those. We're gonna abduct a sniffly little panda and we're gonna give him a name. I'm so excited. Okay, back to fishing. All right guys, so we broke the first fishing rod just shy of 30 levels and I wanted to save this string, but I think I'm gonna have to use it to make a new fishing pole. We can always get more string and kill more spiders if we have to and I'm so close to level 30, so I think it's worth it. All right, let's try this again. Thank you. Okay, let's see what the diamond pick gets us. It's saying efficiency four and, oh my God, are you kidding me? Fortune three. Okay, that was literally just pure luck. I cannot believe that we got that. Okay, well, there's no one breaking on it, but fortune three is gonna help us a ton. And on my very first enchantment too, that's crazy. And I think I'm just gonna put some low level enchants on this iron armor real quick. I know they won't be the best enchantments ever, but something is better than nothing. Protection two, not too bad. Okay, depth strider, that's awesome. And projectile protection two, that'll be good if there's skeletons. Projectile protection three, that's a pretty high level. And unbreaking three. And projectile protection four, are you kidding me? Okay, well that, that turned out a lot better than I thought it was gonna. Let's get this thrown on real quick. And I think we're ready to brave the caves again. Okay, now I think it's time to get our zombie farm set up. I'm gonna grab all the supplies that we need real quick and then we'll head back over there and we can start getting some levels. And then I think we should go diamond hunting after that now that we have fortune three. Okay, I think I have everything. I mean, knowing me, I'm probably forgetting something. I always forget something when I do these farms, but I've got water and a hopper and carpet. I think I've got everything. And we're here. Let's just skedaddle down as quick as we can. Okay, we're back. I have all my stuff. I'm gonna throw it down over here in this corner real quick, and then let's get this farm set up. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do I got it. This is always the scariest part. And we have zombies down here. It's working. Oh 
my god, a carrot! We have a carrot. Okay, that was the first zombies that I hit, and we've already got a carrot. I think that's the only way we could even get carrots in this world. Okay guys, the zombie farm is all set up now. It's working great. I'm already getting a ton of levels. Everything is good, but this room is ugly and hard to look at. So of course we need to redecorate it real quick. I can't be killing zombies in this ugly little box. Potato! We have a potato, guys. We have potatoes and carrots now. Okay, the room is done. It's looking so much cuter now. Now I can kill my zombies in a beautiful environment. The only thing I still need to do is replace the ceiling, but let's get these levels. Okay, I'm at 43 levels now, so that's quite a bit. I'm gonna make a ton of torches this time, and I should probably combine these shovels up too. And then let's go diamond mining. I think I'm going to head down to that scary cave that we were in before now that I've got a ton of torches and fortune 3 and let's see what we can find. <gasps> okay, who put that hole there? Excuse me? Howdy, partner. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Was that there the whole time? Did I seriously walk by this and not notice it? Oh, looks like we had a death. Oh well. Okay, so far my luck on diamonds has been awful, so I'm gonna start strip mining. I know it's not very fun, but we're desperate for diamonds at this point. The days are passing us by and we really need diamond armor. My pickaxe is also already half gone, so I'm gonna smelt up some of this iron and then make a couple iron picks real quick just so we don't completely use it up. Okay, much better, we have some iron picks. Let's go see if we can find some diamonds. Um, well, no diamonds yet, but we just found this cave. Oh, that's dangerous. This cave. So I guess we'll explore this and see if we can find anything good without falling in the lava. Diamonds! Okay, back to strip mining. Oh, another really dangerous looking cave. Okay, well, let's go see what we can find. Oops. Okay, yep, that's enough of that. That was very dangerous. I think we should go back down into this safe little strip mine now. Okay guys, we have 22 diamonds now. I feel like that's a pretty good amount. We should at least be able to get our diamond armor with it, and that's the most important thing. So let's get out of here. And it's already day 51, so we're already halfway through this, and we just got enough diamonds to make diamond armor. I'm not panicking, you're panicking. Hey tree cows, I'm back. How are you doing? Are you still in the tree? I do feel as though we lost one. Where's the one on the vine? Hopefully he didn't yeet himself off the tree. Y'all stay safe now. All right guys, I got a ton of good stuff from that mining session. A ton of gold, a ton of iron, and diamonds. So I'm gonna get my stuff put away real quick and then let's get some diamond armor made. Let's get a diamond chest plate, some diamond leggings, a diamond hat, and some diamond boots. Okay, let's see what we can get. It's level 30, why is it all protection 3? We're just gonna put a low enchantment on this sword real quick and try and reroll that. Okay, just blast protection 4. Protection 4 and unbreaking 3 on the boots, that's not bad. Perfect, that's a great chest plate. And protection 4 on the leggings, no unbreaking, but that's okay, at least we're protected now. And let's get this on. All right guys, we're all protected now. We look all blue and shiny and beautiful. I'm feeling much more safe and secure. Now the outside of our house is looking great, but the inside, not so much. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time and just detail it up inside real quick. And then we're gonna have to keep moving on towards fighting the dragon, which means I think it's nether time soon. Um, I'm not procrastinating that at all. I just really want a pretty house. Okay guys, the inside of our house is now looking super adorable. I got my old iron armor up here. I threw some carpet down. Oh, and I also made an item frame and put the nautilus shell in that. Since we're never gonna get a heart of the sea and be able to actually use this nautilus shell, it's just gonna be decoration. And I think it looks cute. Oh, and we put our first wooden pick up there too. 
Then I also threw down a farm for the potatoes and carrots down here. I think that looks super adorable as well, and we can start getting those growing. So now that all that's done, I think it's time that we go to the nether. Unfortunately, I've just got one piece of obsidian right now, and that's not nearly enough to make a nether portal. I did take down the coordinates of that nether portal that we found in the very beginning of the 100 days, so I think I'm going to go back there and try and light that one. I do remember it being pretty complete, so we might be able to get to the nether that way. But before we head into the nether, I should probably grab a little bit more food, and then we should probably also enchant up this bow, so let's see what we get. Power 4 and flame. Well, that's a pretty good starter bow. I wish I had infinity on it. Okay guys, let's go see if we can find this nether portal. <gasps> Wait a minute, that's cobblestone? Is that a jungle temple? It's a jungle temple! I'm literally like right by my house right now. I don't know how I didn't see this the entire time that I've been playing in this exact same section. I mean, I guess it's really hard to see through the bamboo jungle, but there's a jungle temple here. So let's go see what's in it. My house is literally right over there. <gasps> and there's armor trim. Oh, it's the wild one. Okay, well, that's pretty exciting. And there's two of them. All right, I never know how to open these, so I'm just gonna break into it. <gasps> two more. Okay, that's awesome. We have four. And of course, I'm taking these sticky pistons. Will I ever use them? No, but I'm taking them. Okay, guys, we made it back to this nether portal, and okay, it's less finished than I thought it was. There's only one extra obsidian on the ground there, and there's really no lava around here at all. Wait a minute, is that what I think it is? <gasps> A brown panda! Oh my god, oh my god, hello, hello sir, hi, hi, hi. Okay, um, you're definitely coming home with us. I was looking for a sniffly one, but the brown ones are pretty rare, I think. And, oh my god, okay, they're eating, they're eating! Oh, that is very cute. Okay, sir, you are coming home with me. Come on, no, not you, I mean, no offense, but, um, I want this one. Get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat! <gasps> okay. I'm just going to grab this obsidian and take it back to my house. Okay, my new pet, you're coming home. Um, we will have to make a little bit of a trek across this jungle, though, so I hope you're up for it. <gasps> Wait a minute. There's a parrot. There's a blue parrot. Okay, okay, we need this blue parrot. Hello, friend. Okay, okay, there's grass. We can get some seeds. Be my friend. Be my <gasps> You're my friend! Oh my gosh, okay, guys, we're coming home with two whole pets. I came out here trying to get obsidian, and now I have two whole pets. I do have a name for the panda already because I asked you guys a little bit ago for panda names because I knew I was going to get a panda in this playthrough, but I don't have a name for this guy. But to me, he looks like a Butterfinger. So Butterfinger, he shall be named. Okay, Butterfinger, let's try and get home. Okay guys, we made it through the jungle finally. That took forever, but we've made it home. However, Butterfinger has kind of lagged behind, so I am hoping he's not stuck in the jungle forever. We might have to go back and find him. Just kidding, he teleported to me. Okay, good Butterfinger, you sit down there. Thank you guys so much for all the name suggestions. There were so many of them, and I thought so many of them were hilarious, so it was really hard to pick just one. So, I didn't. I picked Walmart Rolo Jones. There you are, Walmart Rolo Jones. Do you like your name? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Sorry, tree cows. You don't get a name. So now we have Walmart Rolo Jones and Butterfinger. And we are one obsidian short of our nether portal still. We only have nine, and I'm pretty sure we need ten. So I'm going to head back out and see if I can find any lava that I can turn into obsidian. I do remember seeing lava pools on my adventures, but I have no idea where they are. Oh, just kidding, we found another nether portal. Okay, well, that'll work even better, actually. Let's see what's in the chest. Oh, two obsidian. Boom, that's all we needed. And a golden apple. Well, I will not say no to that. And we don't need those. Okay. I will take this crying obsidian though, and this gold. And let's grab another block just to be on the safe side. Okay, I think that's all we need. Let's get back home. Hello Walmart, how you doing? You taking care of Butterfinger and the tree cows? Okay, now I don't want my nether portal to be on the island with me. I think that'll be too loud. So I'm going to put it right over here on this land instead. I mean, it's kind of a pain to bow over to it, but we won't need to go into the nether that often. Okay, well, let's get her lit. And I've got a gold helmet, and I'm going to bring a little bit of extra gold with me as well so I can trade, hopefully. All right, guys, let's do this. Please, no basalt delta this time. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Um, are you kidding me right now? We just spawned directly into a fortress. Okay, this is already dangerous. There's a ton of weather skeletons, but okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I cannot believe that that just happened. That's, that's insane. Um, we are still in a basalt delta though. So our basalt delta look continues, but at least we spawned inside another fortress. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be mad at me. Oh my God. Okay. Well, oh God. Now they're all mad at me. That was, that was an accident. Okay. Oh God. Not a child. Not a child. Not a child. Not a child. Please, sir. Please. Okay. Okay. Well, that was a mistake. Um, I guess I just have to wait until they calm down and they aren't angry at me anymore. At least I'll take this gold here. <gasps> Nether wart. Oh, nope, they're still mad at me. They're still mad at me. Okay, nope, no, no, no. I thought you guys were chill now. I thought we were chill. <gasps> diamonds! And an armor trim. More diamonds. Okay, well, there is a warped force there, so that's good to know. I'll be taking this and this. Okay, we made out like bandits. Let's get out of here. Okay guys, that, that went really well. I mean, we spawned directly in another fortress, which I've never done in my entire life, and that was absolutely insane. We got a bunch of diamonds, we got an armor trim, we got nether wart and soul sand. I think we're doing pretty great. We even got some blaze rods. Let's make a brewing stand, get some bottles, and fill them up with water really quick because we can make fire resistance potions. We have all of the ingredients, and that means we can go get a bunch more blaze rods without dying. And I think we're going to put our nether wart farm right here. Perfect. And we are going to add some redstone to that to make them last for 8 minutes instead of 3. Okay, these are done. We've got them. And I am going to make a diamond sword real quick. Let's see what we can enchant it with. No. And I'm also going to get crazy and make another diamond pick since we have enough diamonds. Let's see what we could get on that. Fortune 3 right off the bat? But well, we don't we don't need that now. We need unbreaking. That table really just wants to give me fortune. Okay, guys, it's day 60 already, which means we need to get our butts into gear. We should probably be fighting the dragon by day 80 at the latest, because I like to leave a buffer zone of at least 20 days so I can get everything else done. And I want to find an elytra, but I have no idea how long that could take, which means we only have 20 days left to get ready to fight the dragon. Now I need to go back into the nether and fight some blazes, but I'm at level 29 right now, and I want to get a couple more enchantments on my new diamond tools, so I think we're going to head back to the zombie spawner and get our levels back up real quick, and then we can go in there and get some blaze rods. Here you go, Walmart. Have a little treat. Do you like that? Little bamboo treat? You're so cute. Okay guys, we're back to the cave again. Let's go get these levels as quick as we can. I should probably make a better staircase. Okay guys, we're at 37 levels now, which gives us three chances at enchantment. Plus a little buffer for re-rolling. So let's go see what we can get, and then I guess it's time for the nether again. Oh my god, a zombie villager. Man, I would like to cure zombie- oh, he's on fire. I would like to have- okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to kill him. Oh, okay, well, never mind guys. We almost had villagers. That's okay. Okay, let's see what we can get. Fortune 3 is great, but I already have that. I don't- I don't know if I want that again. Let's try the sword. And fire aspect too. That's not great either. You know what? I'm gonna enchant another bow, but I don't have enough string, but I know where string is. There's string in the jungle temple that's right here, so let's go get that. We've got five string now, so let's make a bow. And just efficiency four. Okay, that's not great. I mean, we could have efficiency five, but I need unbreaking. Okay, that's not a terrible sword. Could be better, but it's not terrible. And just in breaking three. I really want infinity before the dragon fight. Let's undo that. We can try again before we fight the dragon. And power four again. Okay, that's not great. But we'll just throw this in here for now. Grab our potions of fire resistance. I've got some gold. We're heading back into the nether. Let's do this. That is so many wither skeletons. Okay. 
All right, we've got 22 blaze rods, which should be more than enough. Okay, let me kill this guy real quick. Oh, and he dropped a wither skeleton skull. Okay, without we don't even have any looting on our sword at all, and we got a wither skeleton skull. Somehow I don't think we're going to be able to get the other two and fight the wither, but hey, we've, we've got one. That's cool. Oh, okay, gotta go. Anyway, like I was saying, we have 22 blaze rods, so we're more than good on blaze rods now, so that's awesome. Now we just need the ender pearls. So we're going to head over to this warped forest and try and explore a little bit past it and see what we can get. Hello, sir. Mind if I stare at ya? And he's gone. But we got an ender pearl. One whole ender pearl. And we've got two. Okay, let's dig this way and see if we can find another biome. I really want piglins. Oh, okay. We're not in a crimson forest, but there are some piglins here. Let's put on our gold helmet so they don't attack me. Let's get our gold and let's get trading. Hello, sir. I have the best deal for you. It's called gold. All you have to do is get in this hole. Well, we've only got four and that was an entire stack of gold. We do have some arrows though, and those will be useful. Thank you. Now we have five. All right, I'm going to head back and grab the rest of my gold now that we know where the piglins are, and then I'm going to trade the rest of it. Oh, that was dangerous. Okay, yeah, we should probably put that there. Make this a little safer. Anyway, I'm going to go get my gold, and I'll be right back. Um, excuse me. I'm just trying to- Ow! I'm just trying to get home. Please leave me alone. And I'm still on fire. Well, we're at 33 levels now, so let's try and enchant this. We may as well take power four. Hopefully it has infinity on it too. That would not be bad. And let's disenchant this one and see what we can get there. Silk touch. Okay, silk touch is super tempting, but we really just need unbreaking on our fortune. What am I going to do with silk touch in this hundred days? Yeah, let's just take the power four. And unbreaking three. Okay, that's better. Let's combine these two. And just efficiency four again. We have the worst pickaxe luck, I swear. Let's get these guys combined. That's a lot of levels, but we'll take it. Power five, unbreaking three, and flame. Not bad. Okay, two more stacks of gold. Hopefully that gets us more than five. Hello, sir. Would you like some gold? Okay, two stacks of gold down, and we're up to 11 ender pearls now. Plus the five that we have back home, that's 16, so honestly, that should be enough. If we're lucky, the fortress will have some already in the ring, but who knows. We got a bunch of other stuff too. We're really good on string now, that's for sure. And we got a bunch of spectral arrows. Thank you for your business, sir. Okay, I won't be mean, I'll let you get out of this hole. Okay, let's head back home and try and stay alive. Hello? Uh, hello? Are you, are you gone, sir? Sir, are you there? Okay, well, I guess he's gone then. Butterfinger, Butterfinger, we made it back. We made it back from the nether. Um, have you seen Walmart? Walmart, Walmart, why are you in with the cows? Walmart, this is not your home. I mean, I know you blend right in with the cows, but this, this is not where you belong. How did you even get in here? You seem a little cramped. Okay, Walmart, um, I guess you can stay there for now. Okay guys, it's day 66 now, and we're pretty prepared to fight the dragon. We've got the ender pearls, we've got the blaze rods, we've got the diamond armor that's enchanted, we've got a sword, we have enough potion ingredients to make our potions. The only thing that we're missing though is phantom membrane for slow falling, because I've been sleeping through every night so phantoms haven't been spawning at all. So I think I'm gonna have to stay up a few nights until the phantoms spawn and get some phantom membrane, but other than that, we're pretty much ready. However, I'm not leaving this island to go find the end fortress until everything is looking cute, just in case we die. So I am going to work on the enchantment tower real quick, and then I think the nether portal as well. So it's building time, guys! Oh, we've got some phantoms. We've got- okay, you seem to be stuck in the wall. Can you come down here, guy? Alright, come here. Someone give me a phantom membrane. Come on. Come attack me before the sun comes up and you guys all burn up. Oh, okay, okay. One of you did drop one, and goodbye. Okay, we just got one, but one is all we need.
Okay guys, the builds are done. I hope you like them. I think they turned out pretty cute. I really like working with the bamboo and jungle wood palette. I think it's super fun. And I also threw in a couple palm trees over here. You'll have to let me know if you like them. Custom trees are still a struggle for me, but I think they turned out pretty cute. And now that everything's cute and looking adorable, let's go risk it all and try and fight the dragon. Also, I redid the nether portal and I think that turned out super cool. Well, it's day 74 now, which means we have six days to find the end fortress and get in there to start fighting the dragon. I think we're as prepared as we could possibly be. I need to make my potions real quick and get my eyes of ender made and it's time to go off through this very thick bamboo jungle and try and find an end fortress the island is pretty much done there's only one section here in the middle that doesn't have anything yet and i do have a plan for what i'm going to put there but that plan kind of hinges on me beating the dragon so we'll see how it goes now let's get these slow falling potions made And efficiency 2 and unbreaking for a lower level enchant isn't half bad. We can combine that with our other one and at least have a little bit of unbreaking on it because it's about to break and we kind of need it. Okay, expensive, but that's a lot better than what we had. Get our arrows, slow falling potion, get our eyes of ender made, got some potions of strength as well. And before we leave, we probably should trim up our armor. If we're going to die fighting the dragon, we should at least die in style. Now, I don't really know I want to trim it with gold, but we used all our gold, so I guess let's use nether quartz. Okay guys, we're looking super fancy now. I used the rib armor trim. I know I could have duplicated it, but I mean, it's 100 days and this is pretty much the only suit of armor we're gonna need. So I'm looking good, I'm looking fancy. I think it's time that we go off and fight the dragon. Um, I am pretty nervous about this. No matter how many times I do a dragon fight, I'm still terrified, but I've got pretty much everything I could need. So let's give it a go. And I should probably grab a water bucket and some building blocks. I am gonna grab some paper and gunpowder actually. Maybe this is optimistic of me, but we can turn it into rockets if we do get an elytra. And I should probably grab some wood as well, just in case we can fight some shulkers and make some shulker boxes. All right, Butterfinger, I'm off to fight the dragon. Wish me luck. Hopefully I'll come back. I'll see you later, Walmart. If I don't come back, you're kind of gonna be stuck with the cows forever. So, you know, hopefully I come back. All right, guys, it's time. Let's throw it and, okay, I guess we're going this way. Please don't pop. Thank you. Let's get in our boat and I guess we're heading off this way. All right, guys, I've been traveling forever through the jungle and it is not easy to move through, but the ender pearl went down over here. So let's start digging down. Oh, okay. What's this? We seem to have hit a cave. <gasps> no, it's a mine shaft. Okay. <gasps> what? There's a minecart chest right here and there's glow berries. Oh my God. You guys, there's glowberries. I've been wanting glowberries this entire time. And there's a name tag. I mean, that's exciting too, I guess. And I will take these torches, but there's glowberries. And that's honestly all I really care about. Glowberries. Okay, let's keep heading down. Oh, okay, we've hit stone brick. I guess I should be safe and make a staircase. And I spy. Okay, we're in, we're in. Oh, there's a mine shaft down here too. And some thunder. That's ominous. But there are two chests right here. Okay, hopefully this fortress isn't too busted up. <gasps> a diamond! And we have no room for it. Okay, if we win, we will come back for that. What is this? Okay, clearly there was supposed to be a spawner here, but the fortress seems to have overtaken it. But there's a loot chest, and I will take that gunpowder. Okay, we found a library. A somewhat busted library with a cave directly above it. That's not ominous at all. See if we can find a chest in here. Oh, okay, there's a chest. <gasps> okay, a power four book, that's cool. But ooh, an eye armor trim. Ooh, I really want that. Okay, we will come back for this. Another armor trim. Okay, we will come back. <gasps> oh, okay, well, we found it. Um, That took me absolutely forever wandering down here. Half of this has been completely glitched. Let's sit down our bed and set our spawn point. Get a chest made so we can throw some extra stuff in there like our glow berries. Hopefully we win and we can actually come back for all of this stuff. And let's get all of these on the hot bar so that we're ready. And okay, I think it's time. <gasps> okay, okay, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Okay guys, no more procrastinating. Let's go fight this dragon. I'm a little scared, I'm looking fancy. I've got all this stuff on my hot bar. I think I'm as prepared as I possibly can be. It is day 78, which means we've got 22 more days left of our 100 days, and we need to hurry up and fight this dragon so we can move on. And I think I'm done procrastinating as much as I can be. So let's do this. Wish me luck. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. 
Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh my god. Well, this is a way to start. Let's escape that. Drink this. Drink this. Let's not look at any Endermen, and let's do this. Oh, guess I should at least try and get this. Okay, we've got slow falling, everything is fine. Dude, leave me alone. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. We did it, guys. Oh. We did it. Oh my god. That was nerve wracking. You guys, we did it. We fought the dragon and we won. That was a nerve-wracking fight. I don't know why that one was so scary. It just seemed like it kept throwing me in the air and there was just a lot happening. But I did it. I killed it. Now let's get this egg. Oh, thank you. Okay, now before we go over there and head off into the outer end islands, let's go back. Okay, oh, we made it back. And I should probably eat something. Okay, we can keep these things in here. I'll keep these with me. We need to grab this and this. Let's grab our extra food. We still have a fair amount of arrows, so that's great. We've got our pickaxe, our sword. We have enough to make some shulker boxes if we kill some shulkers. I think we're as prepared as we can be to make sure that we're gonna come back here. All right, let's head back in. Also, now that I'm not being shot, let's uh, close up this dangerous hole. Oh, there it is. My gosh, does it have to be way out here in the dangerous area? Just above the void? Okay, let's grab our ender pearl and let's all hope this goes well. Oh my god, okay. That was nerve wracking, but we're here. All right, let's start running. And while we're here, I will. Oh, I don't want to look at you. I will take some of these. Now we've got about 10 days to search through here and find an end city. I would like to be out of here by day 90 at the latest because I still have to go all the way back home, which was quite a long walk. And then I still need to do some finishing touches on our little bamboo island. So hopefully we can find a nice little end city with an end ship before 10 days. But so far we're seeing a whole lot of nothing. Hopefully we can make this easy. Okay, that was dangerous. Oh, okay, we found one, we found one, and it has a boat. Now we just have to get over there safely. And it's huge, it's a giant one. We've been walking for a long, long time. Do you think I could ender pearl over there, or is that dangerous? I'm pretty sure I could make it. Uh, maybe I better not. Oh my god, we are so close yet so far. Surely I can ender pearl over this. Okay, let's go see what we can get. City at the end of the game. Okay, that's the big tower. Oh, this one looks like it has a pretty big tower too. Maybe we should go up there. All right, guys, our first loot chest. Let's see what we get. Just a ton of iron. Just 24 iron. Okay. Protection four. Aqua affinity protection four. That might be better than the helmet I have. We'll take this just because it's silk touch and we might need to get an ender chest and some emeralds. All right. Not bad. I knew I should have brought my axe for something. Okay, well we're safe up here and everything is chill. Let's make some shulker boxes. And then we can put all of our loot in there. And let's go up here real quick just so we can see the layout. Okay, so there's really only two towers. Let's go back up and go through this one and get all of this real quick. And then we can head to the boat. Okay, another chest. Let's see what we have. Well, that's terrible. Let's get our silk touch pick though and steal this ender chest. Okay, now that we've dispatched those guys, let's see what we've got. Well, it's got mending. I guess we'll take it. <gasps> Y'all, this has not been good loot. Where are my diamonds? Okay, please be diamonds. No, absolutely no diamonds. Arguably, that was a very good shot. Okay, guys, I think we got all of the shulkers. I'm gonna actually climb back up there and bridge over there because that seems slightly less scary. Oh my god, this is terrible and I hate this. And I just want that elytra. Okay, we made it, we made it. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh my god, you scared me, sir. And we did it. We have an elytra. Thank god. Now let's see what's in these guys. And still no diamonds. Wow. And let's get that dragon head. Whew, okay, we got it. Um, I guess we'll fly out this way and see if we can find anything else. Okay, that feels much better. Well, there's a whole lot of nothing here. And I don't want my elytra to die and I don't want to fall into the void because my elytra broke. We did just pass one of the anchors or whatever they're called to get me back home. Honestly, I might just do that because there's really nothing here. Yeah, it's already about to break. Okay, I don't even know what that advancement is for, but we got it and we made it back. Whew. Okay, it's day 81 now, which is better than I thought it would be, so that's good. So let's grab all of our stuff, and then now that we have shulker boxes, I'm gonna go and grab all that stuff from the library and those chests in the hallways if I can find it again, and then maybe go back into that mine shaft and see if there's anything else good there. Okay, I've got everything organized, let's go explore. Another eye armor trim, we'll take that, and I think we'll ignore the rest of it. Diamonds! Don't mind if I do. Well, that's cursed. Oh, got another chest. And more glow berries. And another name tag. And I think, yep, there's one right here too. <gasps> Golden apple. Well, this is just about the coolest cave I've ever seen in my entire life. Yet another chest. Oh, another name tag. Another name tag. Oh my god, I almost missed that. We got that diamond. Oh, okay. Is this the same library that we were in before? No, it is not. We got another eye armor trim. We don't need these. Let me do some organization. Another one. Diamonds. Whoops. <gasps> More diamonds! There is just a lot going on here. But I want to find that other library that I was in so I can get the rest of the loot that I left there. More diamonds! Okay, yep, this is the other one we were at before. There's our books and our template. Oh, and I think, yep, this is where we came down, which means we can go back up to that chest that we left everything in. Thank you. Oh, too much stuff again. Thank you. All right, let's keep heading up. All right, we've made it back to the surface. We fought the dragon, we won, we have a ton of loot. Now we just have to figure out how to get home. Which honestly, your guess is as good as mine. I think it's this way. Okay, we don't have a ton of durability, but we're gonna try. And it's probably gonna be super framey because my computer hates all of this bamboo. You guys, I am lost. This looks cool, but very unfamiliar. And my elytra is about to break. Wish me luck. Oh, is that a jungle temple over there? Well, I guess we'll do a little more exploring. Diamonds! Not too bad, not too bad. More diamonds. Okay, that's great. Okay, now let's try and find our home. Maybe we should take that redstone and our iron and make a compass. My home is pretty close to spawn. When in doubt, compass it out. Okay, I guess we have to go this way. Is this where our giant cave is? Huh, I think it is. I think we're almost home. It is. Okay, guys, I know how to get back now. And we're almost there. And it would be raining on this day of all days as we triumphantly return from slaying the dragon? That seems rude. My home! We did it, you guys. We're home. Butterfinger, I'm home. I made it home. I fought the dragon and I won. We must tell Walmart. Walmart Rollo Jones! Hi! We made it. We came back. We fought the dragon and won. And I see that the vines have grown. Oh god, now we have more tree cows. Okay, we're safe. We're back in our beautiful home. Everything is okay. We've made it. Now, I need to unpack all this stuff. And then I'll show you guys what I got. 
All right, guys, I got everything organized, and this is everything we got from the mine shaft and the end fortress in the end. We have the dragon head, the dragon egg. We got some helmets, not a whole lot in the way of diamond gear. I would have liked more of that. We got some silk touch. We got a protection three bane of arthropods four and fortune two book, which is cool, and then a power four book, which we don't really need. We got five more armor trims. We got our glow berries finally, which I will be adding to our builds um, as soon as I possibly can. We have four more name tags. And we have a broken elytra. Overall, I think we did pretty good. We've made it home. We beat the dragon. We have the elytra. We've accomplished a ton of what I set out to do. We're getting closer and closer to 90 days, and then we'll only have 10 days left. So it's time to put the build in the middle of the island that I mentioned before. I think you guys can probably guess what it is. Okay guys, we've got our little dragon shrine done. I think it's pretty adorable and we put a lever underneath that block there so that it opens its mouth constantly. I just think that's hilarious when they do that. We also put our one wither skull that we got on there since we're probably not going to have enough time to get two more and actually fight the wither. And then I added another one of our little palm trees in. So we still have a couple days left and I do want to name Butterfinger real quick. Perfect. And there you go, Butterfinger, you're named now. Sorry it took me so long. Does that mean you like it? Also, Butterfinger reminded me we have another thing, and we have a ton of diamonds now. So we're gonna take one of those, and then I think it's wood. I'm not sure, I don't think I've ever actually made one of these. There we go, the jukebox. And we have our cat CDs somewhere. Oh, cat. You're dancing, Butterfinger, you're dancing. Just jamming out. Heck yeah, Butterfinger, get it. <laughs> it's just so adorable. Okay, we'll put this up in our house. Okay, guys, we're coming down to the last few days and there's just one more thing that I want to do. Mr. Walmart Rolo Jones needs a little house, and as we're running out of room on our island, I think I'm going to build him his own little island, try and get him out of the cow pen somehow, and then make him a little house. So let's do that right now. Okay, short building break because I need to chop more jungle wood. And since we have a ton of levels and a ton of diamonds now, I think we can upgrade the rest of our tools. So we've got a diamond axe. We've got a diamond shovel. Let's get crazy. Let's even make a diamond hoe. So let's go see if we can enchant these guys up. Let's go for efficiency. Just efficiency. Perfect. And perfect. Let's disenchant you and just reroll it again. We've still got plenty of levels. And fortune, but no efficiency. There we go. Perfect. Well, now we don't look quite so poor at the end of this playthrough. So let's go chop some more trees and then I'll get back to the panda build. Yeah, that's a lot faster. Okay, so we've got Walmart Rolo Jones's house done and his little island. Now we just have to get him out of the cow pen without releasing all of the cows. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to accomplish this. Wish me luck. Walmart. Walmart Rolo Jones, come here. Thank you. Okay, come on. I made you a new home. Let's go see. Please ignore all of the escapees. I will wrangle them. Or they might die. Who knows? Yes, you're doing so good. Get out of here. Okay, this is your new home. Do you like it? You look so cute in your little home. Please stay there. Please don't wander off. Also, I guess you have a cow friend. Um, I could murder him, but I think I'll just let him live with you. I hope that's okay. 
get off of my house. Oh, we lost one. Okay, let's try and get these guys back in their home. Come here. Walmart, get on your island. Alright guys, we did it. We survived 100 days in the bamboo jungle. As you can see, uh, Walmart Rolo Jones has escaped his little panda house. I don't know if he appreciates it nearly as much as he should, but the cows still live in there and he looks like he's having fun. But I can't control Walmart. He just does what he wants to do. I feel like we accomplished a ton in this 100 days and I hit all of the goals that I wanted to. One of these days I'll actually have to get netherite armor in the 100 days, but this was not that time. I hope you guys had as much fun watching this as I did making it. And if you did make it this far, let me know what your favorite part was down in the comments. I just love the cute little island. I can't believe we lived on an island for another 100 days, but at least we could leave this time. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I hope you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching! Bye! See you next time!